Are we about to see wet weather tires used at Bristol? One of the reasons NASCAR wanted to get out of Los Angeles this past weekend for the clash and they moved it up to Saturday night is because they did have an in-week test at Bristol Motor Speedway coming up. And a lot of people were like, what are they testing there? And honestly, I didn't really know. Now we do know because Roush Fenway Kozlowski posted video today of their cars out there testing at Bristol on the high banks that were soaked with water. NASCAR tested out the wet weather package at Bristol Motor Speedway on Thursday because what happens every time we go to Bristol in the spring? It rains. Every time. Doesn't matter if you put dirt on. Doesn't matter if it's concrete. Doesn't matter if it's Easter or not. It will always seemingly rain and sometimes snow at Bristol Motor Speedway in the springtime. I mean, heck, even in the fall recently, we've got some rain happening. So not ideal circumstances, but it is good to know that NASCAR at least tested out the wet weather package. They had a water truck driving around soaking down the track because the one time you want to test out the wet weather package, it doesn't actually rain at Bristol. So instead of actually moving the race to maybe like June when it doesn't rain, we continue to put it in March when it does rain, which is fine. But that also makes me feel pretty confident that they're willing to at least use this package. We saw the cars going around the track at a pretty decent clip still, and they looked fine. Are we going to see the wet weather package come to a speedway or a super speedway? Absolutely not. After all, we've already seen what happens when cars try to go into the corner, whether that be the Winston in 2001 or Daytona summer race just two years ago when they went sailing off in there and totaled a whole bunch of race cars. Regardless, it is good to see that they're trying this. And I don't have a problem with that because if it means that we can get to racing 45 minutes quicker, half an hour quicker, fine by me. Cars on the track is what we're all tuning in for. And if, even if it's in the wet, we saw what the wet weather package did at Martinsville. We also saw it at North Wilkesboro too. Lends to pretty decent racing overall. One thing that I don't love is the fact that we throw a caution to bring everybody in and change back to the slicks. Let this just be a strategy race. If you want to take those tires as long as you want, go for it. If you want to switch over, try it out. I get it. It would lead to some cautions because there's some people out there that are definitely willing to take a risk and go for it. If you were John Hunter Nemechek's truck crew chief that couldn't do fuel mileage, I'm sure you would probably put slicks on right when it's in a downpour, but that's neither here nor there. I am just excited that they tested it out. The cars looked fine. They put up some spray. Obviously, NASCAR's not using the windshield wiper on ovals this year, which is interesting. Uh, I don't hate the idea because their whole point is, well, we're not actually going to be racing when it's raining. The whole point of the wet weather package on ovals is to get the cars out there on track when it's just damp. And that's fine. I have actually no problem with that because I think in a downpour, you're setting yourself up for a high number of cautions and wrecking a lot of race cars. It's different than if you try to do it on a road course and run in the rain there. That seemingly works for the most part, unless it's Circuit of the Americas and it's a complete downpour and, you know, unless you're hard. NASCAR and Cole Custer and Martin Truex Jr. involved. And thankfully, Cole Custer's not in the Cup Series anymore. So that shouldn't be an issue in terms of wet weather driving in the rain, at least on a road course. So maybe we will see this when we get to Bristol in a few weeks, months, month, whatever it is from now. And, you know, if it so happens that we get to see the wet weather package, then so be it. At least we know it works. However, let me preface this by saying NASCAR hasn't even announced the wet weather package being available for Bristol yet. But you have to think if they're testing it, they're willing to go for it. And to see those cars go around there pretty decently, um, you know, makes me think that maybe they'll go ahead and do it. I still would like to see the short track package be used at Bristol, but beggars can't be choosers. And if I have to pick one of the two, I guess... We'll go with this one for now. I'd still like to see what the short track package would look like at Bristol Motor Speedway. Regardless, it's cool to see. Hopefully everybody enjoys it. And, you know, maybe it can get us to racing just a little bit sooner when we head down to the foothills of Tennessee. Mountains of Tennessee, I guess, technically. Foothills of Virginia, mountains of Tennessee. Regardless, Bristol's coming up in not that long from now, honestly. And having a wet weather package available would be pretty nice. I really want to hear Jeff Burton try to say wet weather package over and over again, because I feel like that might be a disaster in the waiting. In other news real quick, it was also announced that Daniel Suarez would be driving for SS Greenlight in the Xfinity series with sponsorship from Wendy's in the number 14 car supported by College Racing. So if you're keeping track of this, SS Greenlight, the number 08 car is now the number 14 car and is now supported by College Racing. The car has all of the College uh, font and everything on it looks like a college car 
and that will be a full-time entry in 2024, which is really good news. The 14 car will be, not it being sponsored by Wendy's and not it with Daniel Suarez full-time. It is in partnership with Colleague, and of course, Colleague and Trackhouse have a partnership as well. Trackhouse is just, they've spread themselves out. They got partnership with everybody. They're like Oprah, partnership, partnership, partnership. You get one, you get one, you get one. And honestly, I don't have a problem with it. I think it's a good looking car. I'm excited to see what Suarez can do. I think he needs opportunities like this, kind of like what he got at the Mexico series at the Clash of the Coliseum. He needs these opportunities to build up his confidence a little bit more and try to take on Ross Chastain. The seat is hot for him. Hot, hot, hot headed into 2024 for the 99 car. And he's got to perform because if he doesn't, they have Zane Smith and Shane Van Gisbergen in the waiting and they can go ahead and replace him. I get it. Suarez was the first guy at Trackhouse hired. But at the end of the day, if you're not winning races when your teammate is four wins over the last two years, you got to go then at some point. So let me know what you think about the wet weather package testing. I almost pulled a Jeff Burton and couldn't speak there for a second. Daniel Suarez in that 14 car. Got a new microphone here, so hopefully things sound a little bit better. Like, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.